Hey guys, we got a big surprise from you guys, for you guys today. Not only that, I got my friend Sean Smith over here that is a top designer, and if you guys are not familiar with him, you gotta go check out some of the cars that this guy designed. Unbelievable. Uh, and the day before, what was it, the 23rd, December 23rd? Yeah, December 23rd, actually 22nd on my end, but I got approached from uh, McDonald's Corporation and Golan, uh, the company that does the uh, marketing and branding with McDonald's in partnership. They approached me about designing and building and putting together an awesome team to do a promotional vehicle um, and a muscle car for McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm sitting at home and I get a text yeah. and he says, hey, uh, you, you still got this 70 uh, Cuda 446 back? And I said, I do. He goes, could we come see it? Mm -hmm. And uh, I think your father and yourself came down on the 26th, maybe? Yeah. Right yeah. after Christmas? 8 a.m. We were down here the day after Christmas. Uh, and you had a couple different options in the Mopar Arena. I That's think, right. I think I, I, at first, the little backstory, I was kind of pitching a newer uh, Demon or a Hellcat or a Red, Bot, Red Eye, which you had. You yep. had a few of those. We all know you have those. Yeah. But, you know, I got to give it up to McDonald's people. That wasn't enough. They wanted a 70 Cuda. And uh, you had a really nice one available, you know. And we loved it. We fell in love with it as well as McDonald's. So Yeah, so this car, actually, if you look at a few videos past, we actually debut this on the channel it was the red cuda that was restored by julius mm -hmm. and it was just such a nice car fresh built and again to the mcdonald's people they knew what they wanted and right. you know 70 cudas i don't know if you agree or not are one of the hottest cars right now to be hot rotted and restored and absolutely i mean there's probably four or five major shops in america right now doing high level resto mods so it's a very you know a couple of years ago it was a camaro now it seems like it's the cuda it's the cuda's turn to get its yes. chance in the sunlight so. and it should because yeah. cudas are cool yeah. and uh just uh well so then we go through the process they approve the car mm -hmm. we get paid for the car mm -hmm. and then you start designing it yeah, I started designing it shortly after the 26. Uh, it was about two weeks to design and two weeks, I think, to build. I started doing multiple, multiple exterior renderings and interior renderings and going back and forth with paint schemes, wheel options, modifications. Um, and the, the, the tricky thing about this was I had to do a polarizing car that was very impactful, but we had to make sure it could get built and executed in about, you know, two, three weeks. Because, listen, you know, the space we live in, any amount of money, any amount of time, we can do amazing cars, but with what we can do in two weeks was really the challenge. Yeah. And I think we'll show you guys a lot of B-roll and around the car, and I think it came out incredible for the mm -hmm. timeline. There's so many guys here that stepped up, mm -hmm. you know, besides the design. So, I mean, just to go back, by the way, guys, it's January 23rd. Mm -hmm. So we had less by the time the car got purchased and everything. We may have three. By the time we kicked it off, we had, yeah, not that Three long. and a half weeks. Right. I think on our end, we had about two weeks. Right. Right. Uh, but it was it was really a team effort on this one. You know, we had we had the guys in SoCal uh, Rods Upholstery that stepped up, mm -hmm. did all upholstery on the car. Right. Amazing! Mm -hmm. I, I can't believe they even finished it at that timeline. Yeah, uh, we had the wheels. Uh, you had Forge Line Forge step line, up. Yep, they stepped up, got right, really right in front of everything. They produced the wheels in about a week and a half, which normal timeline is you know, six weeks. So. Um, everybody really stepped up, but did their part on the car, which, you know, really. Yeah. Yeah. And every... Christian on the wrap. I mean, yep. that was, that was a huge job that spent, yeah. yeah, I think they spent five and a half days of like 14, 15 hour mm -hmm. days just to do the wrap on it. Right. Uh, so that was great. Uh, we did a few other things on the car. We lowered the car. Mm -hmm. Uh, we, uh, we put some wheel wood, uh, brakes on it. Those mm -hmm. came real fast as well. I don't yeah. know how'd you get those. You did that. Oh, actually my father was all in charge of the, some of the suspension stuff okay. and all that. Yeah. He, he, he found those. Uh, we had to do that to put the spindles on. Um, That's right. We put yeah. lowering spindles. We lowered the rear of the vehicle. Yeah. Uh, we measured for the wheels at this time. So the car was here. We fitted some other wheels from another car that we had. Sure. We did a lot of measurements to get this look that mm -hmm. you were looking for. Mm -hmm. And then obviously then you ordered the wheels and, mm -hmm. and also the tires guys to get red line tires like that all cleaned up. That mm -hmm. was real fast. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how you pulled off some of the parts just showed up, but yeah. it was, it was incredible. It's so. especially in that time frame of the year, everybody's drinking eggnog and enjoying family. And, you know, yeah. I called and a lot of people are like, it's Christmas and call me two weeks from now. And, you know, everybody came to during the holidays and, and 
came to attention on this car. So it was great. So Sean, maybe tell people like, what's the concept behind the car? I see Rubble Rubble, I see a lot of logos. Yeah. Maybe explain kind of like the backgrounds, what Mickey D's was trying to do. So the concept was, is McDonald's wanted to celebrate the hamburger, the cheeseburger with the Hamburglar. And they wanted to design this with the concept of this was the Hamburglar's getaway car. So we all know the Hamburglar's kind of this funny anti-hero that loves hamburgers so much that he has to steal them. What would he do if he had to get away fast in order to put the hamburger in the car and make a getaway plan? So with that, we looked at the hamburger as an overall concept and we looked at his outfit and what he was with the colors, the outfit, the black and white, the little bit of red, the yellow on his, um, on, on around his tie. And it just all those little things were the inspiration of the vehicle. So I did a, like a lot of variations and designs with different stripes. McDonald's chose this particular design with two big stripes illustrating the striped outfit that he has and they made really good use of color blocking. Um, we took a lot of the things of the characters, um, funny attributes that he has like the robble robble and we've made a badge of that. Um, we turned the taillights that we'll show you in the back and kind of a silhouette of a cheeseburger. There's just a lot of little elements in the car that celebrate not also Hamburglar but McDonald's and the hamburger itself. Yeah. yeah, and then another cool thing is that I haven't seen on a car yet, mm -hmm. you guys put a great QR code in the back. Correct. So yeah. that's for marketing, it's unbelievable. So we took the, the hockey stripe yeah. that said 440 right. and you converted it. So Right, yeah, we, we went back and forth. Originally the car was going to have two stripes here that kind of celebrated the, the Hamburglar's outfit, but we thought keep the hockey stripe. And then actually, we like, we like this area because it kind of reminded us of a hamburger itself, like the bun. And so we thought this was more important and said hamburger, but we put the QR code, which ties you into McDonald's.com with all the information that surrounds the car and all the merch and information that they're trying to kick the car off with. Yeah. And I think what's great from my end is that you didn't lose that hockey uh, stripe yeah. because that's legendary, you know, CUDA. CUDA so, right. uh, and I think that's what I appreciate on the McDonald's team. You know, yeah. when you came to me and said, hey, you want to be involved in this? Right. Do you want to, do you want to help build this car? Yeah. Uh, I was, you know, I was a little worried, you yeah. know, there's going to be big M's on it yeah, and, yeah, you know, yeah. like their logos everywhere. Right. And I'm yeah. really impressed how tasteful, yeah. uh, not only your work and them standing behind it. Yeah. I have to give them credit. It's very simple settled and it's very good. Yeah, hats off to McDonald's team because like I said, we've all seen these promo cars where there's more promo than there is car. They wanted it very tasteful. They wanted it very timeless. I think, you know, the 70 Cuda is very ta timeless itself. The hamburger is timeless. So tie it in together. They wanted something very tasteful. So also we didn't want to take the Barracuda out of this design. We still wanted it to say Cuda. And, and, and the fun thing about this, and I think you'll like this, is like, Everything about this car, you know, if we had to put it back to stock, we could and still embrace the car. So take the wrap off, take the badges off, and it would still be a, a, a CUDA from a collector's point of view. So we didn't want to do anything to the sheet metal that we modified it so much that it, it started taking off life of another car. So Yeah, and, and again, we did start, this car was born as a 440 four-speed CUDA. It didn't have the number matching engine, it had the era correct engine, yeah. and somebody added a six pack on top of it. But, like, mm. to your point, it's still a CUDA. It's still a CUDA, right, which is very, it's, you know, it's just as iconic as McDonald's itself. And tell them what you named the car. What's the, what the logo? So, what did you come up instead of Barracuda? What did so you do? So, that's probably the funnest thing, and that's when the car really started coming to life. Was to me, you know, sometimes I like car names, sometimes I don't, but if it fits, it fits. Um, since it's the Barracuda, we called it the Burger Cuda. I love it. And we have that on yeah. the dash. Uh, we did lo logos on the fenders. And uh, it was a lot of fun. And I think yeah. that if we're so lucky that between the upholstery shop and our shop that we had all the equipment to be able to do all those variants. I mean, right. we, were, uh, we were printing logos here on Saturday at 9 o'clock. I them. think even yeah. Madeline that was getting big role was doing some resin filling <laughs> on yeah. him. It was all hands on deck. Yeah. I think... We delivered the car to them pretty much on Sunday, right, morning? Yeah, final delivery was Sunday for the photo shoot. Yeah. And I think we left here, well, we started Saturday morning. I think I left here, we locked up about 2 a.m. Yeah. on Sunday. Yeah. So we, it, it was a long day, was a long but day. we got it done. Yeah. Uh, I love to know in the comments what people think about it. I love to, for Sean, maybe show them in the rear how mm -hmm. clean it looks yeah. and the plate that you designed for them. Yeah, so kept a really clean taillight panel. I always loved this part of these cars, this rectangular theme that kind of makes the car look wider. McDonald's wanted to do a custom license plate that said, you know, the Robble Robble. 
Another thing that they came up with was tinting the taillights so it kind of mimics a hamburger. So you have the two bun and the patty in between, but it's still transparent and a functional taillight. So that's pretty fun too. And one of my favorite parts that you did mm -hmm. is actually hiding in the trunk. Mm -hmm. So could we open it up yeah, and absolutely. you can tell what you did over here? Yeah, yeah. Check this out, guys. We created a cover for the spare tire that mimics the same wrapping that they use on their actual cheeseburgers. Then we created a custom mat that's the same color as their tray. So the concept of having the cheeseburger when you order on the tray is executed in the trunk. Come on, guys. <laughs> Two weeks. Just remember the timeline. Yeah. This is cool. This is where the hamburger's character comes out the most, in my opinion, of the car. We designed and custom wrapped the seats to kind of mimic the colorway of his outfit with the black and white stripe theme, the head of the McDonald's yellow. And then probably one of the most exciting things is the center console where instead of putting a cup holder, we actually did a hamburger holder, it's larger diameter. And then while you have that to hold up one cheeseburger, you can have other ones on deck in the custom hamburger storage tray that keeps them heated and warm for the hamburger. I think that's one of my favorite parts. <laughs> that's so cool. Uh, custom floor mats. Uh, the pistol grip now is yellow. Yep, it's so a that's super yellow cool. to highlight that. Yep. And the other thing that we could show in the B-roll a little bit is like that, that grill in the front. Mm -hmm. I think you did an amazing job. The stripe was red, yep. the yellow that you put together to, mm -hmm. to bring in Mickey D's into it, just on a thin line. Right. And then going to that Mickey D logo that, that it's not big. Mm -hmm. It's very tasteful. Yeah, and very I love nice. that. Yeah. Definitely excited. Again, let us know what you guys think about it. I'm very proud to be part of a project like that because I believe these promotional cars are legendary. They're Absolutely. timeless. Yeah. People always remember them. There's mm -hmm. so much media that goes around. Yeah. Uh, maybe talking about that. So what's, what's next for this car? I know you know a little bit. Mm -hmm. What's next? Where is the car going? What, what's going to happen with this car? I think McDonald's is still working on that, but it's going to go to a few major events. Um, the car is going to get debuted in a couple weeks in Manhattan and Times Square. And then after that, it'll be making its rounds, I believe, to the Grammys and a few other spots. Uh, it's Amazing. mass car races. So look for this car at all the major events uh, throughout North America. Absolutely. Awesome, awesome. And Sean, I just want to say thank you, thank you for bringing this uh, project to us, obviously buying the car with us. Absolutely. And I'm sure we'll do other projects together. Uh, but again, thanks. And again, if you guys got to check out his information, if you want to design a car, you want to do anything that is super cool, this is just a two-week project, guys. I've seen some of the GTO that you did. Mm -hmm. I've seen some other cars that are just to die for. Actually, if you watch uh, our Battle of the Builder in SEMA, the GTO that I was like saying, this is my top pick, mm -hmm. and I was like leaning over it and everything, uh, all him. How long did you work on that car? Was a long build. That car was a long build. That three-year build. Three years. It was yeah. incredible. Very incredible. Build. So yeah. again, guys, thank you for watching the channel, and let us know what you think about this car. Thank you.